Sultan Fatiha Emirali from Morocco, Mekne. Uh, I'm going to present uh, my work. Uh, I'm going to talk about biotherapeutic potential of intravenous immunoglobulin IVIG in transplant patients. Uh, in patients uh, with end stage organ disease and autoimmune diseases and infection, uh, anti HLA immunoglobulins are highly elevated. Uh, it's commonly referred to as HLA sensitization, which contributes to antibody mediated rejection and graft failure. In attempts to lower anti HLA. IgG levels, several therapeutic agents are recommended. They include uh, protein A immunoabsorption, uh, plasma apheresis, uh, therapies with, uh, for example, serolimus, monoclonal antibodies like regiximab and IVIG. Uh, what's uh, uh, what's a therapeutic IGIG? Uh, it's uh, a mixture of IGIG antibodies prepared uh, by cooling and purifying the plasma uh, from 10 to 40,000 normal and healthy donors after screening their blood for known pathogens. Uh, Cedar Sinai IVIG desensitization protocol was approved by FDA on 2004 uh, for lowering uh, LOHLA antibodies in uh, patients waiting for trans uh, kidney transplants. But some other uh, clinical study document that IVIG were unable to reduce the low HLA antibodies. So our objective is to unravel the and explore the ingredients of IVIG, uh, examine uh, anti HLA class one and class two. Uh, reactivity of uh, four Moroccan IVIG lots, uh, evaluate the profile of different conformation of anti HLA plus one, class one using regular beads and I beads, and establish the reason why the IVIG were sometimes unable to reduce LOHLA antibodies. For this, we use the technology Luminex XMAP, multiplex single antigen bead immunoassay, and uh, four Moroccan LUTs, uh, one, two, three, and four, and several dilutions, mix 50 milligrams per ml, and one half, one a quarter, one eight, one sixteen, one thirty two, and one sixty four, and one hundred eighty eight alleles. Uh, this figure shows the structure of regular beads and I beads. Regular beads are coated with uh, all conformations and structures of HLA, HLA heavy chain, HLA dimer, and HLA trimer uh, with uh, beta 2 microglobulin and peptide. And the I beads are coated only with HLA dimer and HLA trimer. So uh, regular beads simulate uh, activated T and D cells, and I beads simulate in vivo resin cells. So this figure shows that uh, there is a high level of uh, HLA class 1A and uh, class 2 reactivity uh, on the 4 IVIG loss. Uh, this table showed that uh, MFI differences between I beads and uh, regular beads uh, 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 sh show that uh, 11 alleles from uh, uh, 97 alleles reacts with uh, strongly with I beads. So uh, Moroccan IVIG recognized all HLA A 
and uh, HLA class two allele and HLA class one trimer and recognized free, high frequent HLA type found in Moroccan population uh, and contain beneficial antibody, antibodies which are anti-HLA heavy chain, uh, which could uh, modulate immunity and be a new option for autoimmune diseases and they contain also dangerous antibodies bodies which are anti-HLA trimer uh, that may uh, be a risk of trial transfusion related acute lung injury. So uh, Moroccan IVIG preparations contain beneficial and dangerous anti-HLA antibodies. Uh, they contain anti-HLA against the most frequent type uh, found in Moroccan population uh, that uh, caution against the use of high IVIG doses of uh, IVIG for the care of these HLA type uh, and call for the de development of IVIG mimetics for uh, IVIG replacement. Uh, Ravindranath's uh, American patent uh, relates to monoclonal anti-HLA-E, TFLO6, uh, offer a good alternative. This antibody reacts only to HLA uh, class one heavy chain and do not produce trolley. And thank you from Morocco.